All right, guys. Nathan and I are out fishing for smallies right now, doing a bunch of leech fishing. And uh, got a rock bass and a pike here on leeches in the first couple of minutes. So hopefully the bite continues, but not the right species as of yet. But always good to have action right away in the morning. Can't say I've ever caught a pike on a leech before. That's a first. On again up here. <laughs> Smalley. Our first Smalley of the day. That is the right species. Now we gotta get the right size. That's a small one. We're going to try and see what our best five are. All right. Upgrading in size. <laughs> and now we got the right species. <laughs> Nice one, though. If we had the full day, I'd probably keep this. No. I was too busy catching the pipe. We aren't going to have time to clean it. We cast this one out deeper. This bobber. This one. You gotta watch her. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch. Yeah, that's a better fish out deep. Oh my god, that's a good one, dude. Yeah. I just casted that one out into that, like, whatever, eight to nine. Well, that means my father's too high, though. Could be. You said set it to, like, four or five feet. Yeah, I thought that was the one you were casting at the dock. Oh. No. All right. Here is next fish, probably right around two pounds. Get him in the live ball. They're in here. That one was just dead weight. Literally felt like I was going through a weed. Until I kept on pulling and all of a sudden I couldn't get out of the weed. And then the weed started stripping drag. Like on this road. That's gonna be a small one. Good one. Mm 
Then that seems to be working well. Yeah. Seems like that's like that's a good length and everything. I wish for this one. Number three, baby. There he is, around that same size. This spot's on fire right now. Well, good start to the morning. We got three in the box. Small, don't worry about it. Little spot we're fishing right now. We've got docks with some rocks, and then it all turns into weeds here. This is just a big weed flat. Probably we're in like six feet right now, but it just gradually drops off until like 12 feet. And uh, we're just picking off these smallies that are cruising around on this weed flat. And if this slows down, we'll we'll bump out a little bit deeper. Knew there was one out of that freaking dock. That's a smallie. The smallie or largey. It's a bass though, whatever it is. Fighting like a smallie. I haven't seen it yet though. No, it's a really nice smallie. Get in. <laughs> Number four. At least fourth keeper. We've caught a lot more than that. Hooked right in the top of the mouth. That's definitely our best one yet. Okay. Yeah, that's two pounds all day. This is the whole setup right here. Gamagatsu, two out hook, split shot, like six to seven inches above it. Hook a leech through the big sucker, if I can ever grab this thing. Just like that. And all we're doing, cast it out, let it sink down to the bottom, pick up the slack and just slowly drag it back and reel in the slack, slowly drag it. Just trying to cover some water. while letting that leech be able to work. <laughs> oh my god, get him, dude. <laughs> That's a freaking giant small one. Oh, it just fell out. Oh my god, dude. It's a four pounder. Maybe not. Maybe three and a half. your other bobbers. Oh. 
Well, that's our limit in, yeah, half hour, 40 minutes. Us or not? I think it will. Man, this guy was acrobat. Yeah, it's definitely bigger than the other one. All right, well, there's a little upgrade to our best five there. Nice smally. Literally hit underneath the boat. That's a really nice fish. Man, they're just digging today. Holy cow. Wow, that's a nice one. Nice, nice, nice job. I haven't missed one yet. Okay, that's gonna be a keeper. The question is which one is it calling out? Okay, yeah, that one's substantially bigger. It's between these two and which one goes back? I think this one goes back. Yeah. Pump it on. One five. Okay. One five. Seriously? Yeah. This one looks smaller. All right, guys. Well, we have moved spots. We bounced around a little bit already in this spot. Um, Forgot to turn on the camera, of course, but Nathan stuck a good one, his first smallie of the day, and it was his PB. Second smallie. Oh, second smallie. His first one was a dink, though. Um, what was it, 115? Yep. So just about a two pounder, so nice fish. That upgraded us a little bit, and we kicked out a 110 out of the boat. I think our next smallest is a 113. And uh, yeah, so that was a nice upgrade, but the fact that our smallest some of our smallest fish are still pushing two pounds at this point is just fantastic we've had an awesome morning it's only 9 15 right now got a few hours left in the day that first 45 minutes was ridiculous i don't know if i've ever caught a limit so quick out here the first spot we were going to go to right off the boat launch already had a few boats go through it and one boat kind of stirred some things up, so we're like, ah, we'll try a different spot. And good thing we did. A couple of big ones. The rest of them are all pretty quality. We're only about not even halfway through the day yet, so <laughs> a lot of time left. Guessing we'll bounce around in this spot like one more time. Once you're done rigging that up, I'm thinking we scoot over a little bit again. Already? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's a good one, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. The second it hit the water. Yeah, it is. 
so that's fine. I told you this is not really hot. I think they're in a little bit closer. I moved us in a little bit. Oh man, that's a nice fish. Well done. Look at the girth on that one. Okay, let's win. That was instant. He must have dropped that right in his face. That's a nice fish, dude. You're good. What do we got? Two, two. So there was a 113 in the back there, correct? Yeah, that's the one we need to get rid of. Beautiful smally there, but he is not quite the two four that we're after. Just golden though, absolutely gorgeous fish. And back she goes. That's got to be close to 15 or 20 smallmouth for us today. I mean, this has been a ridiculous morning. Set up here, guys. This is a lose kvd series this is a 300 size um, i've got this on an icon st croix medium light fast action tip that's important because some of these fish bite really light and you just feel a tiny little tick and that rod tip is so sensitive you can feel everything i've got that paired up with 10 pound power pro v2 and then tied up to a fluorocarbon leader which i have 12 pound fluoro on that and that is what is doing all the damage today i'm going to do a couple more casts and then we're going to move Honestly, I don't think it's going to help. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a really, that's a good one, dude. I don't think he's hooked well either. Oh, not even as good as I thought, though, honestly. He ate it like a bigger one. I don't even think that's gonna help. Beautiful fish, holy cow. That's close. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Beautiful fish, guys. This has been like our average all day, around two pounds. It's been an absolutely incredible morning so far. Good? Clap it on. Two, three. Oh, we had like a two, two, didn't we? Here, wait, let me just redo it. All right, guys, very end of the day here. We're back at the boat launch. Just weighing our fish. Here's number one at two pounds, three ounces. I'll let him go. So you just, you want to get the weight? Yeah. No weight. Two, four. There he goes. Three, two. Is that the other one? This is the first one. One final look at this guy here. He is more than ready to go. That's probably the Wow. Yeah, that's my one. Two, three. Two, three. Holding at two, three. That's two. Look at that fish, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful swim off. One of the two threes we're probably not gonna. Three, four. Final fish. Three pounds, four ounces. Just a beast of a smallmouth. And probably lost close to half a pound of weight in this freaking live well. There's just craws all over the place in this live well. Like his belly's pretty empty now and he was full when we first got him. And there he goes. All right, guys, we are back home after fishing. Nathan and I had a great day. Um, ended up having a little bit of weird engine problems, so we went in after just a few hours, but still ended up having a great morning. Ended up with 13.6 pounds, so that was well done. Nathan got his new yep. personal best smallmouth at 2.2 pounds, but um, we were heading up to St. Germain very soon. Um, Gonna get the engine all fixed up, and that'll be super fun. Doing a lot of multi-species stuff there. Um, big crappies and bluegills, and along with uh, a lot of smallmouth as well. So stay tuned for that, and thank you all for watching this episode.